my name's Adam and today we're talking about some basic principles of application when you're using Dr. K's kinesiology tape. So the, the first thing you need to be aware of when you're applying kinesiology tape is preparing the area effectively. So we expect the tape to last for about three to five days and so in order for it to stay on for that long you're going to need to make sure that the skin is, is clean and dry, that you haven't used any moisturisers or oils or lotions that would affect the adhesive on the skin. We want to remove any excessive hair to make sure those that's not affecting the tape application as well. So once you've prepared the skin effectively, we want to then be mindful of how we're going to apply the tape. So it's best to apply the tape over a stretched or lengthened area. So for example, if we're going to do a quadriceps, we want to have the, the knee bent and the hip extended to allow for that length of tape over the thigh. The reason we do this is because it allows full flexibility for starters, which means that functionally you're not affected by the tape and it doesn't impair your activity. And secondly, it allows for better decompression of the tape and is more effective in its activation of the muscle too. So the, the rationale behind that is, is that if you, if you have the muscle lengthened with the tape applied, when you shorten the muscle, the tape will also shorten to some degree and that will allow a little bit more lifting and decompressing of the structure under the tape. So we also want to be mindful of the level of, of, of tension we apply to the tape when we're using it in the application. So you can vary the level of tension to suit different circumstances. So for example, you might use a smaller tension, say 25% of the maximal tension for an edema or a swelling management problem. General applications for muscles and joints, we often use 50% tension. Or for an injury where you want to unload more specifically, or a tendon insertion perhaps, you might use 75% tension. It's also important to be mindful of, of not having the tape tensed at the very beginning and the very end. The reason why we don't do this is because it allows the tape to decompress more through its length. So if we were to stretch the tape completely from one end to the other, it would compress the tissue more than unload it. Whereas if we leave a portion at the end, it's more likely to draw and lift through its length and therefore decompress the top tissue underneath. So when we're applying our tape, we want to then prepare it in a way that's going to minimise the likelihood of it coming off. So let's say we've got our piece of tape ready to apply. We want to cut the corners off. So the corners provide catching points on clothes or, or other things. And if we remove them, then that's one less thing that's going to allow the edges of the tape to start peeling off. Um, once you've done that, and when you're preparing to apply your tape, the method I prefer is a, a fold and tear method where to create a, uh, an anchor base piece, you're going to fold down along the line tear along that little line, peel back a piece and create a tab for you then to draw the tape along, remove the paper and you've created an anchor point. It's important to mention at this point in time that we, we, we prefer to not touch the adhesive at all and that's why we take this care with preparing it in this way. If you touch the adhesive it's going to impair its ability to stick effectively and then that's going to reduce its, its longevity in regards to the, the effectiveness of the taping. So once you've done that then you can, you can prepare your application the, the adhesive of the tape is, is heat activated. So if you rub it, it'll, it'll activate that bonding agent within it and it'll stick more effectively. And again, that's going to maximise the potential for the tape to be effective in its application and keep it on for longer. We also use horizontal pieces of tape to further decompress the tissue underneath. So these often get referred to as unloaded pieces. So we, we use them to try and provide better decompression and unloading support over the specifically injured area. So the way that they're applied is generally as a, a band-aid style application where you'll fold the tape in the middle, tear along that central line, peel apart and then stick down over your injured space and then the tape will slide down either side of it to further unload and support the area of injury. And finally, an important part of any kinesiology taping application is trying to ensure that the tape stays on by preventing it from catching on clothing, making sure that when you're showering, you're patting the tape dry rather than rubbing to avoid the tape from peeling off. Another thing that can be useful, if you do start to get a little patch of tape that peels off, you can trim that little piece off and then give the rest of it a good rub and the bulk of the tape will probably stay on, even if that little portion has been removed. And it probably won't affect the application's performance significantly. So for more information, visit sportstrap.com.au.